Hi friends, we're back with a new episode of What's in the Box. Come see what we've got this week. Hey Justin, great hey, to see you. Good to be here. I know, I've missed the kind of camaraderie that we get to have while we explore our watch of the yeah. week. So without further ado, let's see what the team has set aside for us. Um, before we do that though, I would love to know what's on your wrist. <gasps> Okay, I'm very, very Whoa, excited you, about you this seem one. Excited. Yes. What okay. is it? <gasps> what? No way. That's really a mill guy. It's a mill guy. Okay, let me show. Is that dial tropicaling a little bit? Uh, yeah. So it's changed colors, right? I mean, that is and this, not black. It clearly was born black. It's like, yeah, this was the black and orange version of the mill Yeah. But the dial has turned to this very nice, like matte gray color. Wow. I think it's amazing. It's clearly a. Uh, Unintentional, yes. Um, which is but strange it's because it's a modern watch. It's not, you know, I mean, we see tropical dials on vintage watches yeah. all the times and different patinas, which is great. But I Get have never out. seen one on a Milgauss. I've seen a president with some a similar effect, yeah. but I think this looks so so good. The, the gray and orange. Oh, I want it. I want it. I want no to buy this one. If it's not on our site, it's because I bought it. Oh. Um, I love this one. It's funny, we actually missed you in our last episode. Ripley and I got to unveil a white dial Milgauss, which personally I was excited to see. Mm -hmm. I really like that configuration favorites. a yeah. lot. And we did give a little nod to you, a shout out okay. that you were gonna be a little jealous. So it's yeah, funny yeah. that this is what you're yeah, wearing this week. Absolutely, week. good one. I've never seen one like this, so absolutely a special watch. Funky and anyway, fun. Anyway, what do you got on today? I've got on kind of a classic Emily watch. I've got on a oh, very Datejust, watch, yeah. a Lady Datejust, all yellow gold. Do you see that tapestry yeah, dial? Yeah, very nice. My favorite part though is actually this date window is champagne as well. I've been having nice. a thing for ivory ones, but this one actually feels super monochromatic that with nice. every detail. I'll show you guys at good. home too. Uh, just love this watch Great so watch. Much. I love the dials, a little subtle. Yeah. Like I don't see it from across the room. It just looks like a beautiful gold watch. You get up on it and there's a little more interest. So oh I love yeah. That. yeah. It's actually from 1975. So condition wise, Very pretty nice. fun. Yeah. A little vintage. That's a good one. That's, yeah. Those are our choices on our wrist today. What are you guys wearing at home? Be sure to let us know. You know how much we love hearing everything that you guys have. Even people have been telling us what they have while watching and then what they're yeah. gonna wear next time. Yeah, yeah. It's really I fun see to see ones. you guys yeah. kind of give us everything, not just the not just the basics. Yeah. So, okay, speaking of what's in the box, our team has set aside a box. We got something. They said it's international, so I'm excited to see what in the world is going on with this. Yeah. You ready to get into it? Yeah, let's it? do it. All right, the watch is here. Thank you, team, so much. You get the awesome. honors today, All right? right? I'll open today. All right, I see the date. Fresh okay. in today. All right. From FedEx. Are you going to guess at this one? I'll guess. You can do that? I'll okay. guess. You gotta give me a little bit of something. Okay. Brand wise may help. I had a unique guest last week. Yes, I understand. Okay, well, a little spoiler alert. I'll narrow it down for you. It's an Omega. Omega. Fantastic. Okay. You know how I am. I like, you take a peek. I, I like one guest and that's it. Okay, I know what I wanna see. <laughs> what? Okay, yes. Okay, look, I think initially I wanna go with like a a blue side of the moon. I love that adventuring dial, but I feel like we're playing into our strengths lately. And I did call out that Schumacher Speedmaster on your wrist and it sold immediately. So maybe you guys brought me another one. Is this a Schumacher uh, Speed? As much as I love that watch, this yes. is not it. Okay. This is this is wild. Is this special? This is a good one. It's a limited I've edition. I've never seen that inner box. It's, yeah, it's special. You may recognize it, you may not. Let's, without further ado. Let me see. It is. Get the Speedmaster out. Alaska Project. Wow. So it is the Alaska Project Speedmaster. Uh, this is a limited edition. Here, let's take it out so we can really get into All it. All of the um, details. Look at that such white a dial. Cool watch. So excited to have this one in. We've never had this one in. This um, is the Mark II version, right? Uh, yeah, so this is the 2008 version. Um, it's Great the year. first one that's really available. They've made, um, I believe, uh, 1,970 yep. of these. Um, so it's the a limited edition. The original one was in 1970, came out in 1970, right? Yes, there was an original one. It was like a prototype thing for. For, for NASA, um, and the original one was a titanium case, and you know they, they had only cool. made I think like five of them or something. Yeah. Um, it's it's not like it was something that was really available. Where this one, Omega made available in 2008 with, like I said, just under 2,000 pieces. Yeah. Um, and I believe it was around 5,000 at the time. Really cool watch. If this hasn't caught your eye, I mean, 
I'm sure you've seen before. It has the uh, the cage, the heat shield yeah. with it. Um, and it's the, aluminum. It's aluminum, right? And legitimately is like actually helpful in a range of temperatures all the way from, does it say it on it? Yeah, so if you notice on the front, it says Alaska Project, and I, I believe it also says the uh, the temperature was Thermal was range. Yes. Oh, yeah, uh, from it. minus 148 degrees Celsius to plus 260 degrees that Celsius. That is a range. Yes, it is a range. And it literally goes on the outside of this it goes gorgeous on. black tachymeter bezel. If you wanna Put it on, we can Please see. Please do, yeah. Looks very unique. You're definitely not gonna be out in the wild with this, because essentially this was like for NASA. Yeah, so uh, the, the cage was actually a tool. It's, it's a heat shield, essentially. Um, and that's because there's such wildly different temperatures um, on the moon from the bright side to the dark side. Even this, yes. the uh, spacecraft going out there, the side that was facing the sun yes. was really hot and the side that was away from the sun was really cold um, and this helps kind of insulate the yeah. watch um, from both of those. So it, it keeps it from getting too hot and too cold. Outer space extreme temperature instrument. Exactly. Um, and then it has the pushers so, so you can still awesome. operate the watch. Oh yeah. Um, the dial is white because um, obviously we can't cover the dial with no. aluminum because well, what would the point of yeah. having the watch be? And the uh, hour markers are even white too. Yeah, so that's, Luminous, of that's course. actually one of my favorite things yeah. aesthetically about this watch. The hour markers are luminous and they're there they're just white yeah. and they they're almost like uh it's like when you need them like the they'll ghost. glow right yeah. yes um and they're there and if you look it, uh, it's subtle and you see the markers but when you just see it's just a clean dial it's something about the sterility and it's just really nice the look. three sub dials are really attractive as well you've obviously got the red seconds hand yeah um but the three sub dials they have almost that like beaker look to yeah it. that like kind of like and space capsule counterweight to the sub dial yeah, hands. Yeah, this version, they went black. I believe in the 1970s when it was red. The original version, they were red, or at least a couple and of the them were red, I think. the were yeah. black. Yeah, and the, the, oh, that one had a more busy dial too. It had like black yeah. markers and it had like almost like a Schumacher kind of feel with the yeah. checker around <laughs> yes. it. Different case shape. I mean, it, it, it was a different watch and, and the uh, the shield was like a clamshell type. So yeah. it was it was different. different. And it was, again, it, that was really never made for retail. It was True. made to be a That's tool for, a for NASA. Um, and I think they did a really good job of making something for the consumer that you could buy. And I mean, I don't know how appropriate this is. Uh, maybe uh, some it, you know, firefighter or something. I'm sure there is a real world use for it. I want to see without this thermal shield again, kind of in its original state. So you can see this actually is on the bracelet, but nonetheless, I can see in the package. Yeah, that so part of the kit is they also have these Velcro straps that says Alaska Project on it. Really great look. I would I would love to wear it on there. So there's a Speed couple. Speedmaster, limited edition. It gives you the range of its mm -hmm. temperature capabilities and it says Alaska Project with the little beakers on it. Yeah, and it, so it's called the Alaska Project. Mm -hmm. When it was originally named, it really didn't have anything to do with Alaska or any relationship <laughs> to it. It was just codenamed the Alaska Project. Yeah. Um, the extreme temperature might have something to do with it, right? Mm -hmm. Being, uh, you know, Alaska is a very cold place, is the dark side of the moon is a very cold place, but it doesn't really have any connection to the state, which I thought was kind of interesting because mm -hmm. You know, I always, when I first saw the watch, I just assumed it had something to do with Alaska, but um, no, it does not. I love the sporty nature of this. I really like the black bezel on this. Uh, 42 millimeters, so it's definitely a big watch. Yeah. Um, bigger, on the bigger side. Has light crystal. This one has the, what, 1861 movement? Yes. Instead of the 861, which everybody loves. Um, the 861 is the original, yes. uh, you know, uh, NASA space qualified, yes. so it's nice that it's, you know, kind of, uh, plays into that. Of course, and on the back side, so this says 1430 of 1970, well, as we go. mentioned, the, yeah. the numbered availability, and then still it says Alaska Project Limited Series on the case back. Wow, how cool. Yeah. So let me take this off. I definitely wanna see how this looks on my wrist. I know 42 is a little big, but come on, if you're gonna go big. It's a tool watch Whoa! and it's supposed to be big. Oh yeah, you could totally do oh, that. Oh yeah. yeah. I, come on. That looks this good. is amazing. Yeah. Uh, fun fact too, especially seeing the straps, it leans into the moon swatch thing. Uh, the moon swatch Mars was a little bit of um, interpretation of this. So I know. Yeah, absolutely. It has the same shape on the hands. That's where they got some inspiration. I mean, I you it's know I the, haven't heard it from the horse's mouth, but yeah. come on, that's exactly. And even just like you know the the, the moon swatch straps are very so reminiscent similar. of this is you know. Um, so yeah, very very. Cool Ooh, watch. I would say twelve out of ten on this one. This week. I love this one. You I, could totally. You I, could have wear you ever it. seen this? Or you 
been here for 10 years. I'm, I have not I'm the seen newbie. one of these. Nope. Wow. I haven't seen one in the wild either. I would love Even to see a lady wearing this <gasps> out there in the wild. Oh, yeah. That is. That's someone I need to it's talk a wash to. Girl yep, at that absolutely. Point. But even a watch guy, come yeah. on. If I see this on your wrist, I will stop you. I yeah. want to see what's going on. Yep. What a fantastic piece. This yep. would look good on you yeah, too. This is an Strap amazing watch. I bracelet, need to try so. it on. All right, let's see. Little watch watch change. It's fun to see how they look little tight. on each person. Ooh. There's extra links, we just don't have them on, but yeah. Wow. Come on. That dial is oh, eye catcher. I love it. And it's a white dial. I mean, I already have a fetish for a white dial, so <laughs> this one is ticking all the marks for me. Yeah, I love it. So glad we got this one. Awesome, awesome watch. Yeah. Well, it's not just about what we think. We're always curious. What do you guys think of this fantastic Omega Speedmaster? Yeah. Uh, let us know. Do you like it? Are you a fan? Did you know about it? Or are we kind of tipping you off to something new? It's always fun to learn. I, I'm the resident newbie here, and so I'm constantly learning. Um, this is a great one. This, yeah. this will be stored in the memory bank for quite a while. Yeah, yeah. Um, as always, the watches that we get to discuss here eventually go live up on bobswatches.com slash new arrivals. So it will be there for the person that luckily enough gets to yeah. take this one home. So be sure to head over and check it out. Otherwise, fun episode. Really fun episode, fun watch. Again, leave us a comment. What do you guys think about this yeah. one? I know there's some thoughts out there about it. Shout um, out to the team, way yeah. to source. You gonna wear it on the cage too? Like, where are you gonna wear it? Ooh. Let me know, tell me what's happening with this Gosh, one. I feel um, like I'd have hand. to get in get in a shop and do something like glass blowing or something crazy to yeah, get yeah. this one on the wrist. I might anyway. just wear it for some comments, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> so fun, well guys, we'll be back again with another episode of What's in the Box. Until then though, be well.